everyone. Today I am making mint chocolate chip cookies and they are dyed green for St. Patrick's Day that's coming up and I thought these cookies would be perfect. If you guys want to know how to make this, keep on watching. You're going to need one and a half cups of sugar, half cup of softened butter, half cup of butter flavored shortening, two eggs, one teaspoon baking soda, light green food coloring, half teaspoon salt, half teaspoon mint extract, two and a half cups of flour, one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips, cup of chopped Andes chocolate mints, and then you're gonna need a quarter cup each from the chocolate chips and the chopped chocolate mints for tops of the cookies. So I already have here in my bowl my sugar, and to that I'm gonna add my butter flavored shortening and my half a cup of butter. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my mint, my mint extract, and my two eggs. Perfect. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and beat this until it's not light and fluffy. All right. So now that I have mixed up my butter, you can tell it's nice, white, and fluffy. And then I'm just gonna scrape down the sides of my bowl. And I wanna add my green food coloring at this time. And, and then you're going to mix again until it's all one color. Now to this, I have I'm gonna put this aside. Right here I have my all-purpose flour. And this I have both my uh, baking soda and my salt. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle that in. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and pour half of this of my flour into my cookies, my cookie batter. Because I don't want all the flour to poof up at me. I'm gonna go ahead and mix. All right, I'm gonna add the rest of my flour. Oops, can't do this with one hand, okay. Perfect. Mix this until it's all combined. All right. So I'm gonna get the sides that I couldn't get with the hand mixer. If you have a stand mixer, uh, go ahead and use that if you've got one. That makes life a little bit easier. All right, that looks great. Now I'm gonna add my, my semi-sweet chocolate chips and my uh, mint chunks. Pour that in. And then just fold it, fold those chocolate chips into your cookie batter. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get my cookie sheet out. So now that I have made my cookie dough, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my cookie sheet. So I'm just going to be placing these on the cookie sheet, about two inches, two and a half inches apart. And I'm gonna take a spoon and kind of slightly, I'm gonna slightly mash them with my spoon. And the reason why is because I'm gonna be placing my leftover chocolate chips on top. So I have here some chocolate chips that I had remaining from my cup. Ooh, man, that made a weak noise. And then I also have some remaining, rem remaining? I have some remaining Andy's Mint chocolates that I cut up already. And I chose like the best one, best looking ones. So I'm just gonna stick a few of these right on top. Cause once they cook, they're gonna melt and they're gonna look so pretty once they come out. All right, I'm gonna place this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 11 to 13 minutes. Oh man, look at this guys. Oh. Oops, I stuck my pot holder in that one. Oh well, that will just be consumed first. I'm gonna let these cool on the baking sheet for just a little while before I transfer them to my wire rack that I have here right that I have right here. Yeah, yes. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and transfer them to my wire rack. 
All right, I can't wait. I have got to dig into one of these. This one looks so pretty. Oh my gosh. Look at that melty, chocolatey, minty goodness. Oh yeah. Mm. The recipe is in the description below. Please subscribe, turn on that notifications bell, and leave a comment below. Guys, happy St. Patrick's Day. Bye. Boom! Yeah. That's a good one. Make the transfer. Thank you. <laughs> I feel very hot. That yeah, hot. What are we doing? <laughs> this is a bad one. That's hot. <laughs> I was not expecting it to be so warm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Take two.